Hey ladies and gents, welcome back to Star Citizen. Yes, it's been a long time since I've done a uh, Star Citizen video, but uh, there has never been a better time to come back to Star Citizen and start playing again if you have, uh, have stopped playing just like me. So, here we are. We're at uh, Delamar at the Levski Landing. And as you guys might know, if you're a Star Citizen fan, that this is a uh, mining mining community basically on a uh, on a uh, on a kind of a, like a moon and here's my character by the way check out his fancy clothes <laughs> so yeah so the plan for today's video was something nice and easy just to get back into star citizen just do a video for star citizen for you star citizen fans out there on my channel so the plan for today was to transport something basically not cargo hauling but trading sort of like a merchant so we're going to buy something here uh, in this mining community basically mining station Levski uh, and try and sell it somewhere else so let's go ahead and pick up the uh, caterpillar we'll select the caterpillar and we'll, we'll, we'll try and buy some iodine gas which is uh, sold for 0 0.06 UEC so let's go ahead and purchase uh, almost 17,000 uh, UEC of, of uh, iodine. All right, so that's 28 SU of that gas. That's apparently a flammable gas. It's a flammable liquid. So, as I said, the plan is to buy something here, buy something cheap at the source. Hence, it's a uh, mining town, a mining station. And let's go ahead and transport it to one of those new planets. The ones that uh, I haven't featured on the channel yet, and we'll sell it there. Say hi to the customs guy. <laughs> so yeah, it's been it's been a long time since I've uh, actually played Star Citizen. I've just got back into it now, and guys, I am I am actually genuinely impressed by the uh, progress that this game has made. All right, good stuff, Chief. All right, so. Um, a caterpillar is just gonna get ready. All right, hangar two. Yep. Now, as I was saying, the they have made quite a significant progress in this game. Now, not in terms of like star systems or anything like that, but uh, in terms of just the quality of life improvements. So we'll select hangar two, and there we go. So there's a lot less bugs. There's a lot less crashes. However, they do still happen. Ooh, check it out. These are the uh, mechanics, the maintainers here on this hangar. How you guys doing? All right, so here's our caterpillar. Now, I've featured this caterpillar before, but uh, it's it's probably still one of the best in the game for uh, for transporting. Uh, it's one of my favorites too. So let's go ahead and drop down the uh, cargo bay door. And I have to say this, guys, this game sounds amazing with a uh, nice pair of headphones on a 7.1 surround sound system. If you have surround sound, I highly recommend you guys enable it for this video because just just listen to that. Listen to that rumble. I hope that's coming through because it sounds amazing. All right, let's get inside the cockpit. Let's get in the uh, pilot's chair. Let's turn this aircraft, or this spacecraft, I should say. There we go. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake Interplanetary. Turn on the lights. Your systems are online. Perfect. Now, I'm always stunned by how great Star Citizen looks. I'm not sure if the, if the quality of the video is coming through YouTube, guys, but this, this, what I'm looking at here is amazing. Like the, uh... The, the 3D textures and everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and ask uh, ATC, Levski Landing Control, to open the uh, hangar gates. You're free to launch. Right. So these guys, as I said, they're a mining community, but they're a bit of a rebel. So they're, they're quite uh, laxed with their laws and what's allowed and what's not allowed here. So let's go ahead and take off. There we go. Just coming out of the hangar now. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. We've raised the landing gear. Just check out that that external model, guys. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Such a beautiful game. Such such an amazing game. 
in terms of sound and sight and graphics and everything. Let's go ahead and point the ship upwards and off we go. I, I, I'm honestly like uh, left speechless with the quality of the sound. I'm truly hoping that it's coming through the video. So let's go ahead and give more power to the uh, main thrusters. Yeah, 75, 76%. And off we go. Now, uh, as I said, this is a, like a, a moon. So as you guys can see, uh, this is so good. The engine sound, sounds have died down. So this, this place doesn't really have an atmosphere. Okay, so let's go ahead and select Hurston. We'll set the route. So that's the required amount of quantum uh, fuel that we need. We already have that, so we're all good to go. Now, all we have to do is we have to align to our uh, waypoint marker. Basically, that circle right there. That's our waypoint marker. But our ship at the moment is sight slipping because we're already going fast, as you guys can see. There we go. We're sight slipping. Have a look. How cool does that look? We're actually uh, flying to the side now. It will take a while. We have to use some thrusters, some boosters to set us on course to the uh, waypoint marker. But check out this asteroid field. Isn't this so peaceful? I love it. I love this game. And you guys can see the side slip by that circle coming in from the right side of the HUD. So now we're starting to slowly align with the uh, Hurston quantum marker. Let's go ahead and get aligned. And we can go. There we go. Nice. Guys, this game sounds so good. I've already said that a couple of times, but I just can't I can't uh, get over how good this game sounds. It basically feels like if you've got a nice pair of headphones, it feels like you're in a cinema. With the rumblings of the engine and everything. Wow. Alright, so it's 25 million kilometers to go till uh, we reach Hurston. And then we want to touch down on, on Lorville, on Hurston. But for now, we can get out of the uh, pilot's chair and have a look around the caterpillar. This game, it's just, yeah, they, they have definitely improved the, uh, the graphics on the game. So let's go ahead and go down this ladder. And here we are, we're in the, uh, basically, uh, the uh, pilot module uh, habitational area. Let's check out this view from here. You can see the sun. Whoa, very bright. So this whole this whole uh, uh, module detaches from the cargo bit of the caterpillar. It's fully autonomous. Now you can go ahead and lie down. You can go ahead and lie down and uh, and you know read a book, watch a YouTube video <laughs> uh, on your iPad until the uh, quantum travel is done. Now keep in mind, this is this is very very small quantum jumping. This is, we're still in the same system. So, and, 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 and Stanton isn't a very large system. And here's the shower. Very soon we're going to be able to uh, use the showers. And also guys, this is a really good time to get back to, into Star Citizen because 3.9 is coming. 3.9 is a, quite a uh, major patch for Star Citizen. Now one of my favorite rooms while quantum uh, uh, driving is, is this room right here, the uh, tractor beam room. It looks so good from here, doesn't it? It looks amazing. Wow. Alright, now another thing that I like to do every time I pick up cargo is for me to go and have a look at the cargo. I want to physically see what I'm carrying. Alright, seems like we're slowing down. We're, we're almost uh, at Hurston. So as you saw, that was the whole first module, cargo module, full of uh, iodine gas. Here we are, let's get back into the uh, pilot seat. There we go. I can see Hurston, right out there. There we go. Doesn't that look beautiful? That's so cinematic. 
There we go. Whoa, this ship is hot. You need to let it cool down. The quantum drive engines are hot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hurston. So I haven't featured this uh, planet on my channel yet. So let's go ahead and uh, go to Hurston right there. We'll zoom in. And we'll try and select Lorville, which is that uh, bright circle on the surface. There we go, set route. Perfect. Now again, we need to align ourselves with the uh, with the uh, waypoint marker, which is that uh, that hexagon, and then we can quantum uh, drive the rest of the way down onto the surface, which is 800 kilometers away. <laughs> Thank God for quantum drives, right? Listen to those engines. So, guys, you can you guys can expect uh, more Star Citizen videos uh, going forward from this point on on this channel because the game is now at a point where it's a lot more stable. It is a lot more uh, uh, more playable, I, I could say. So you guys can definitely expect more Star Citizen content. Wow, that's loud. decelerating that was quite loud hang on are we at laurel oh we're just right next to laurel we'll set the route to laurel we should be very 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 close oh yeah there it is my bad my bad quantum drive to the wrong place <laughs> there it is it's 63.6 kilometers away so we're just gonna have to go ahead and fly that 60 kilometers However, because this is not an atmospheric ship, uh, it will it will be flying quite uh, slowly. We're traveling at 217, 218 meters per second. Now I'm not sure what that is in terms of uh, kilometers per hour. Check out this awesome view from the external view, guys. Oh, this looks so good. Okay, so here we are. We're finally at the uh, city limits of Hurston, and there is the uh, Hurston uh, or Lorville uh, business district, that big, tall yellow building. That's where we want to go. So let's go ahead and begin descending. That wrench marker basically uh, shows us where we, uh, uh, where our hangar is, the hangar that's been uh, allocated to us, where we have to go ahead and land. Look at all those people down there. Those those green triangles are uh, other people, other human players playing. I'm not sure why they're congregating in one place, but uh, yeah, check it out. As you can see, this is a uh, an industrial uh, planet kind of. It's like a Hurston, uh, the company Hurston. Um, I think they do a lot of mining. I'm not sure exactly what they do. Uh, they might be into a couple of different things like weapons production, mining, and so on and so forth. Yeah, I know what, guy, what you guys are thinking. Are you seriously going to land it into that hole from here? Yeah, that's, that's what we have to do, guys. It's basically we have to go through that hole into the ground. That's the hangar down there. Hey, this is the future for you. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and align, and, and and please don't crash. For the love of God, don't crash. Like I do this all the time off camera. I do it perfectly. I nail it, and just let's drop the landing gear. But just for today, because I'm recording this and you guys are seeing it, I'm probably gonna crash. Don't crash. Come on. Ooh, that was a bit of packet loss. I don't need packet loss at this time. Right, let me go. Let me go ahead and go to the external view, so you guys can see how close this is. Check it out. We're slightly misaligned, but that's okay. 
Let's go ahead and correct that. And let's continue descending, but very, very slowly. Yeah, I know, I know. I know Betty. <laughs> Bitching Betty again. There we go. Right. I love watching those doors close, guys. Those hangar doors. Look at that. The, uh, that's the... Uh, that's the hangar manager right there. Let's get out. Let's go sell some uh, some cargo. All right. Let's retract the uh, cargo lift and let's get out of this hangar. But check it out! Check out this awesome hangar. Amazing hangar! It's huge. Now you guys might be thinking the caterpillar is huge, and you you'd be right. It is. It is a huge huge ship but there are ships in this game that are eventually going to be in this game that'll probably be like four times the size of this caterpillar just check it out in terms of scale look at my character look at the caterpillar and there will be ships that will be like easily four five six times as big as the caterpillar in terms of length and width and height and everything so let's go ahead and call the uh, elevator now let's get to the uh, Tessa spaceport, I believe. So yeah, as I was saying, you guys can expect more Star Citizen videos going forward from now. Um, because, as I said, the game is a lot more polished, a lot more playable. Even though it, it is still an alpha, it is still a very small, limited tech demo. And it's by no means a final representation of what the game is going to be once it's out. But the game is slowly becoming what I wanted to what I imagined it would be. It is slowly maturing and the game is slowly getting to where it needs to be. To that initial vision that we all wanted Star Citizen to be. And I want to show you guys something really really cool that every time I come here impresses me. So I'm going to come over here from the Tessa spaceport and check it out. I feel like I'm in a movie. I feel like I'm in like some sort of Star Wars movie. This, those are the hangars that we just landed through with the caterpillar. How amazing does this look? Alright, so here we are. We're in the train. Let's go ahead and take a seat. And we're gonna basically take, uh, catch a train to Lorwell CBD, basically built that yellow multi-story uh, uh, building that we saw uh, coming in. show you guys something so this is an actual train this is not a loading screen it's not it's not nothing like that we're actually moving through space we're physically moving from one place to another how cool is that all right and here we are we're at the uh laurel cbd basically that that huge yellow building that we saw look how posh this is look how clean and tidy this is so basically, this is the uh, the home planet for Hurston Dynamics, and this this particular building, uh, obviously this this statue, this golden statues that you see, is of the uh, um, the family head, the, the 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 father of the the Hurston dynasty, basically. Now all of this has like lots and lots of lore behind it in in the universe. Look how good this place looks, so posh and clean. I mean, we're, we're dressed uh, for the occasion. On behalf of Hurston Dynamics CEO, Gavin P. Hurston, welcome. Yeah, so these guys, they're, they're basically bought out this whole planet and they have this huge uh, mega corporation. So what does it say? Archibald Hurston Memorial Hall. So I guess this is Archibald. Archibald Hur uh, Hurston. So we're going to go ahead and 
uh, go to this place right here and there are uh, trading terminals here where we can uh, basically sell a cargo the iodine gas that we bought from Levski. Now you can, you can see the, the contrast between Levski and this place right here. They're basically the uh, uh, basically straight opposites. This is very clean, very very corporate like. The other one was very carefree. There it is. That's our trading and shipping console. I don't like that glare. That that. I hate that glare. I can't see it. All right, that's better. That's better. All right, so the iodine they sell for 0 .4, 0 0.45 UEC. So in total, we're gonna get 21,000 alpha UEC. So that's like a profit of like roughly four and a half thousand alpha UEC for what we bought here. As you guys can see, we have our uh, UEC deposit into our wallet there. So we can go ahead and buy something now and 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 take it back to uh, um, Lepsky. And one thing that we can buy and, and sell to Levskis is scrap, basically. So we can go ahead and buy 21,000 Alpha UEC worth of uh, scrap and then sell it to the refineries and the recycling centers at Levski so they can recycle that. But we're not going to do that, guys. And that's pretty much it for, for today's video, guys. As I said, expect more Star Citizen videos as time goes on. Uh, um, Alpha 3.9 is due out anytime soon, and as soon as that drops, I'm going to be doing videos on that. You can expect videos for that as well. Thank you very, very much for joining me on this first episode of Star Citizen in a long, long time. I uh, definitely uh, appreciate and enjoy your company. Thank you very much, guys. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and leave a like if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.